Hey guys. In this video I'm going to show you how to use my favorite Final Cut Pro for Windows alternative to create great looking videos quickly and easily. Alright, let's get started. Click the link in the description box below to visit the website getvideoeditor.com. Click through and select download for free. After you've downloaded and installed the software, follow the on-screen instructions to launch the program. Alright, here's the software. There are two editing modes. Full Feature Mode and Easy Mode. With Easy Mode, you can make slideshows in minutes. Simply supply the wizard with images or video clips. Select Background Music. Choose a transition effect. That's it. The software will automatically cut and create a video for you. Next, we're going to create a project in full feature mode to test out the full range of video editing functionality. Let's begin with a brief tour of the main interface. There are four main sections. The video effects in the top left. The media file browser in the middle. The preview window in the top right. And the timeline running along the bottom. The timeline is broken down into four tracks. Audio, main video, overlay, and text effects, which allows you to easily separate the various elements of your project. First step to edit a video is importing media. You can either import your video or click the record option to record directly from your computer webcam or screen. Click add media files and select the video file or files you want to edit. Once you import the video you can preview it on the right side. The imported video will appear on the timeline below, so you can perform simple edits in the video with the horizontal bar above the timeline. These include split, rotate, crop, color adjustments, transition wizard and record voiceover. To cut out unwanted parts. First click to select the target clip, drag the red line marker to that section. Then click on the scissors icon located above the timeline. The selected clip will be splitted into two parts. You can make as many splits as you want to that clip. To remove the unwanted section, select it and once it is highlighted, press the delete key on the keyboard. To rotate, just click the rotate button to choose the orientation you prefer. You can also use the crop feature by clicking the crop button, use the guide box in the preview window to show or hide parts of the video. And you can also move the scroll bar left and right to change the angle. Now if you need to adjust the colors, just click this button and you have different auto adjustments that you can use. There's auto saturation, auto contrast, magic enhance and auto white balance. There are also manual adjustments available as well for the more advanced users. So here you can adjust brightness, contrast, saturation, highlights, gamma shadows, hue temperature and tint. In the Clip Properties section, you can increase the video speed, decrease the video speed, or reverse the action. Now over here on the left vertical menu is the Import button. And then the Filters, Transitions, Titles, Stickers, Callouts, Animation, Pan and Zoom, Highlight and Conceal, Chroma Key and Stabilization, this may seem like a lot, but they're all real easy to use. Click the import button and you'll see that aside from adding a video file to your project, you also have the option to add sounds. Music. Sample video. And backgrounds. To add sounds, click one. And once it's downloaded, just drag it to the timeline. You can add as many as you want to give more life to your video. And you can even adjust a volume like this.
You can do the same for the background music. For sample video and backgrounds, simply select one and drag to the video timeline. Now head over to the filters library and apply a filter to your video. There are dozens of filters to choose from. You can select a category here and then choose a specific filter you want to use, and then drag it to the video clip like so. And if you're not satisfied with the filter you chose, just click the undo button here, and then go ahead and select another filter that you want to use. You have both the undo and redo buttons, so don't be afraid to make mistakes. Transitions are usually used to change the look of a cut or combine several clips together smoothly. Now, select the Transitions tab to see what transitions are available. There are over 100 transitions available. Select a category and then choose a transition you like and drag it between the clips. Once you play your video you'll see there's now a smooth transition between the two clips, rather than a sudden cut. To modify the transition, just double-click it, make changes and click OK. You can give your video a title or a credit screen with ease by clicking the Titles button. Just like before, choose a category and a title that you want and drag it to the timeline. Double-click the text selection to type in your text. To pan and zoom, click the button and decide whether you wish to zoom in, zoom out or pan left to right. Once selected, click Add. The stabilization feature is best used for video clips that have camera shakes. To use it simply select a clip and click the Stabilize button. As you can see everything is done for you by the software. On the bottom right hand corner of the interface, click the export button to begin saving the video. A window for the export setting will open up. From the tabs on the left side of the pop-up window, select your video format. There is also the option to save your video in HD. In the Save to field, pick the destination folder and hit Start. There you have it. If you want to edit video the easy way, try my favorite Final Cut Pro for Windows alternative. You can download it by clicking the link in the description box below to visit getvideoeditor.com and create your own custom video in minutes. If you don't understand any step, please feel free to comment below and I will help answer as soon as I can. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thanks.